Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta 2. Last time we started the game, and Jean kind of got kidnapped by the forces of the underworld. So today, we start our journey to save her in Noatun, the city of Genesis. Let's go. How fitting that we begin in Genesis. Yeah. Okay. Just practicing some combos here. There we go. The absolute baddest. All right. There we go. Just. I don't even know what I was trying to do. The joint's supposed to be the link between Inferno and Paradiso. They say there is an entrance to Inferno, the gates of hell, somewhere on this mountain. No one knows where, though. Hell, no one even knows if it's true or not. The only reason this overgrown rock is worshipped like some god in the first place is that no one's ever been able to get close to the damn thing. It's like it don't want you there. Every climber ends up stranded or worse. And don't even try to fly a plane near that place, or bada boom! But at least your soul doesn't have a long walk to whichever afterlife you got lined up, right? I'll wait for you and know it to at the foot of the mountain. Just hurry up with whatever it is you gotta do and get back there, all right? And the hotel's going on your account, with a mini bar too. Gotta keep myself busy while I'm waiting. Forget about it. Uh, I love those miniature drinks. I can't believe you, Enzo. I didn't know the in-flight service was exclusive to fat Italians. Renting the plane ain't free, you know. That reminds me, you owe Alex the kid for the charter. <laughs> Alex oh, kid. Yeah. Also, this is so totally the start of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Which was on the Sega Genesis, and we're going to the city of Genesis. Oh snap! Okay. There it is. That's Fimblebenter. I never knew how to pronounce that before this game, by the way. Look at it. Oh, but you gotta have a death wish to get close to that damn place, if you ask me. Wow. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. What the hell? Where did these clouds come? Sorry, Enzo. This is where I get off. Say hi to the wife and kids. What? What? Wait, what? You're joking, right? I can't find it. Please, I can't. Poor Enzo. <laughs> John, I'm on my way. Just behave yourself for a bit longer. Okay, so now it's time to play the game proper. I love that we start off with Panther Within right off the bat. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did for the first game in that I go for all the major chests. Oh, Yellow Moon Lollipop. This gives you a temporary shield. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going for all the chests that'll get me, like, the Moon Pearls and the Witch's Hearts. And I will be going for all lore. And the uh, little, what's the word I'm looking for here? Optional portals, there we go. Oh, that was a crow. Huh. Alright. Um. Oh yeah, and Bayonetta, 
can breathe indefinitely underwater, but she can't go panther underwater, which is a shame. Yeah, I'm not going to be going for all the crows or all the achievements, really. But that's fine. Mostly because I don't know where all the crows are, and some of them are kind of annoying to get. You were just halos. Okay. Already, I have forgotten where everything was in practice. Oh, wait. This seems familiar. Yeah, I knew it was one of the... Yeah, yeah, I knew it was one of the docks. I was just at the wrong one. A new beginning. For reasons I would not get into here, oh my god, this text. I have dedicated my life to searching for the truth of the Umber Witches. You could even say I sacrificed the best years of my life pursuing this story. Working backward from the legends these women left behind, my search took me to Vigrid, a town in the remote hills of Europe, the witches once called home. I ended up getting myself involved in a crazy tale of my own while in Vigrid. I'm thinking of getting it published one of these days, so the details will have to wait for the paying customers. My fascination with the witches has not waned, far from it, but something new has captured my inquisitive eye. A story of even greater depth calls to me. I had to know more about the true source behind the power of sage and witch alike. I grew restless, and before long I found myself back on the investigative trail. It wasn't long before I found the very place referenced in that ancient scripture. Quiet town nestled between sea and mountain, Noatan. Not five minutes in town, I was shocked to see something that confirmed my suspicions, and what a sight it was to behold. There was nothing, oh, wait, yeah, nothing less than statues depicting the familiar form of sage and witch, statues that were second to none, even when compared to those found in Vigrid. Could it be? Another holy town? Y yeah, yeah, it is. All right, I think that's it for the docks going off of muscle memory here from a practice session that I did like not too long before I just started recording hey there we go the lollipops that well the green ones heal health good to have very good to have Don't mind me just being on the lookout. There we go. More lore. We're, we're going to get a lot of this in this chapter. Divine Retribution. If you're going to spit in the face of God, you're probably going to incur some of his wrath. That's just common sense to me. Still, I can't help but feel a little sorry when I hear the level of Divine Retribution some of these witches got dealt. One case I witnessed was particularly bad. The type of punishment that never gets better, hurting for all eternity. Like a curse, a number which had the resting place that carried her remains scattered into pieces and her soul flung into a rift in time and space, never to be saved again. Just thinking about what this witch must have done to get dealt a hand like that drives me almost insane with curiosity. I'd kill for the chance to sit down and chat with the Lumen Sage that did it to her. Yes, judging from the witches I know, you could expel them to the ends of the universe and they'd still find a way back. So, new mechanic we have. Oh, that's right, you gotta check them first. Yeah, we have resting places. Uh, you have to collect each of the broken pieces while this remembrance of time is visible. Yep. We have five shards we need to gather. In a certain amount of time. Thank you, Panther within. Oh, I'm sorry, Beast within. Get it right. Okay. Um, I'm running low on time. Running low on time! Okay. And yep, once you get all the shards, the resting place gets rebuilt. So now we can go and desecrate a grave. I mean, they said the witch's remains are there, you know, so I mean... Might as well just, you know, go go ahead. She, she's not going to use whatever's in here. She can't take it with her. Might as well give it to us. This broken moon pearl. Thank you kindly. Alrighty. And we're off. Oh. 
Red is... Oh, well, yeah, they're going to tell me right there. It raises your attack power. It's useful, but you don't really need it. On the lookout for treasure. Meh. I don't think there's much else to really worry about. Wait a minute. No, nothing. That looks important, but... We got more treasure to get. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. So yeah, Broken Witch Heart. Gather some of these and you will raise your... Well, yeah. They're like pieces of heart. Get four. You raise your health. Just being certain. Oh, yep. There we go. Two things right over here. So first, more lore. Unknown entrance. Have you ever heard of gates that connect worlds? It might sound like strange fiction, but the truth is these gates exist all over the world we live in. The gate that connects the three worlds and makes the foundation of our own is relatively well known. So if you're reading this, I'll just go ahead and assume you know of it. However, there are stories of doors that lead to the secret layers of the supernatural. And I've got a great source who just gave me the information I need to bring things to light. I can't reveal who my source is, but according to them, there is a gateway that leads to a primordial world cut off from the flow of time. A place called M Muspelheim. The place is full of demons, angels, witches, and sages, who spend their days pursuing nothing other than battle. This limitless world disregards the wounds and depths of yesterday, always breathing life into its warriors so that they may live to fight another day. You know the stories about some guy who just suddenly disappears, is gone for months, and reappears out of thin air as if nothing ever happened? There's a large probability that guy accidentally stepped into Muspelheim and has somehow found his way back. I know it's the job of a journalist to explore and uncover the truth behind rumors like these, but as far as traveling to other dimensions in a state of endless war, I think I'm good for now. So yeah, these are just essentially the same thing as Alfheim's. There are some new challenges, but nothing too difficult. Honestly, I would say on average, these are a bit easier than the uh, Alfheim's are. Yeah, that's just explain what they are. These are all optional challenges, blah, blah, blah. So this one, time battle. Defeat all enemies within the time given. Oh, you are so dead. Or not. Yo, I need you to hurry up and die. He's done it. Oh, was that a platinum? Did I not get hit? Go. Uh, okay, I didn't get hit, but my combo and time weren't the best. I deserve a platinum for that. I'm sorry. I, I, I just feel that I did. Oh, well, what can you do? These loading screens, though, they are making me kind of wish I had the Switch version. I mean, at least I'll be able to show off the different amiibo flavor text, but eh, it's not the end of the world. It's just a little loading. We can deal with it. I've dealt with worse on the channel. Looking at Crash 4 and Crash Bash. Well, Crash Bash wasn't that bad. Pre-patch twin sanity. Oh yeah, that that was awful. And that squirrel keeps looking at me. I wonder why. Probably because we got some more lore, fragments of memory. Strange events sometimes work their way into our everyday lives. Stories abound, flashbacks from places you have no memory of. A kid who suddenly starts speaking a foreign tongue, or a voice in your head that ends up saving your life. 
The list goes on and on and on. These are said to happen when people come in contact with the remnants of memory left in this world by God. The God of the human realm had special eyes that could see all existence and happenings across the earth. They could see the fate of whomever they gazed upon, their present, past, and future. Everything. God loved the human world, and his kind heart began to feel sadness for mankind. He decided to commit to memory every detail of their fleeting lives, almost like you'd take a photo. He ended up doing it so much that eventually, even he forgot about them. And these records were left scattered across the earth. These are known as the remnants of memory. They usually can't be seen or felt, but the truth is these memories could be anywhere. You could be standing within God's memories right now. Interesting. Well, no turning back now. Hey, more lore. Sealed time. Sometimes you come across something you lost long ago. It has been untouched, found exactly as it was when lost. Almost like ancient towns frozen in time after volcanic eruptions. Sometimes children even discover these ruins while playing. When I arrived here, I was circling around the harbor, doing some research, and happened to hear a story from the local fishermen. There seem to be these large pools of water about the city. These are ruins, containing statues of witches and sages, and the god that gave them their powers. They say there was a devastating tsunami that hit the city long ago and cracked its very foundation, causing water to seep in and creating the vista you see today. I, uh, it, no, wait, no, yeah, I'd be interested in taking a peek at these ruins before they completely crumble away, but I'm not going in the water at this time of year. Freezing cold. Uh, that being said, I know a witch who probably wouldn't think twice about dancing her way down into that freezing water, though. I might come back after it. it oh, love I might come back after it warms up a bit. Make a little vacation out of it. Yep, that's a plan. Hmm... Seems a little familiar, that writing style. Just and up here talking about certain witches, I wonder who that could be. Foreshadowing. Alright, so first real fight of the chapter. They are all about to get wrecked. Not today, my friend. They're up there. Come on. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, we got a, uh... Uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh. Uh. Oh my god, it's on the tip of my tongue. I've been playing games that deal with freaking, like, concoctions and whatnot. It's, it's 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 a consumable material that we can use to create items that will help us out in a pinch. I have lost my ability to form coherent sentences. I am sorry. We 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 got another one right here. My God, what what is the word I'm looking for here? Alchemy materials? Well, let's go with that. Why not? I am sorry for butchering everything about this. Might as well just grab all of that. Okay. Now, if memory serves correctly... Don't want to die here. There we go. Just one more piece of heart. And we'll have more HP. Might as well just... Oh, wait. That's right. We're underwater. I can't be a beast underwater. Though I can be a witch. I don't get the logic there, but all right. Hey, it's another M Muspelheim. 
I know I'm going to slip up and call these Alphimes at one point, and I apologize in advance for that. Anyway, for this one, we have... Witch time! You only deal damage during witch time. Easy. Almost done. Oh, we are done. If that ain't a platinum, I don't know what is. Oh, that's a pure platinum. I'll take it. And yeah, we got enough moon or broken moon pearls to make a complete moon pearl. It's only two for them. I thought it was three. Oh well, I'll take it. So yeah, that was a successful Muspelheim. Oh, you gotta be a little more quick. Oh, I was about to break down, eh, whatever. So off we go. It is nice that she's able to breathe indefinitely underwater. It's not much you have to worry about because of that. But I think that's also because there's a lot of combat that happens underwater too. So that would kind of suck <laughs> if she could drown while you're fighting. But I think there are other games that would have that as a caveat. Anyway, optional verse. Y'all are so screwed. Oh, ooh, got a little ahead of myself there. All right, that's a pure platinum. Give it to me. Hey, another alchemy material. Give me my pure platinum. Thank you. Shoot. They don't know who they messing with today. I'm on my A game. Santa don't get paid enough for this shit. When Ed and Edna found that daddy wasn't coming back, Made me stay all the way through dinner. Don't pretend you weren't delighted. I hear Enzo's wife makes a lovely casserole. It was damn good. <laughs> I give you that. <laughs> At least he's honest. How my babies are doing. They're behaving quite well. They found plenty of playmates here. Figured they would. Noah Tune had some deep connections with Thimbleventer in the gates of hell back in its day. Wouldn't be surprised to find a few of those playmates that like it rougher than the typical bunch. Anyway, you need any supplies, just make sure you keep bringing me these halos. And remember, I ain't here to get up in your business. My business is making things that do business. So don't come crying to me when you... You, you think you gotta do everything alone? I'm here to help. Just make sure you don't bust a cap in my ass. I don't get it. But all right, now we can go to the gates of hell. It's the shop, same as the first game. You spend halos here to get consumables, new skills, and bonus items. As well as more witch pearls and, or no, moon pearls and witch hearts there's only a finite amount that he sells though so yeah you kind of want to maximize those if you want full health on fire, so there won't be <laughs> <hell to pay. laughs> come on 
I gotta see some cheesy shit sometimes. Rodan is such a good character, and yeah, Symbol Grace is the hottest of hot items. You're not sure what to go after. Look for a face you can trust. Uh, I know exactly what I'm going after first. Um, yes, Crow Within, because that allows me to fly, and Bat Within, because I am bad at this game. Wait, I don't have enough. I should have went for this first. That is on me. I had enough at this point in practice. I don't know what changed. Oh well. It means I'm just gonna have to play well. <laughs> Can't believe I said that with a straight face. Me? Play well? I mean, I'll give it a shot. Just so much loading. Okay, and we're off. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, okay, looks like Armageddon is happening. And now we're underwater. The townsfolk must be very frightened right now. I know I would be. It's just an earthquake. We'll be fine. It's just a giant flying angel dragon. We'll be fine. Nothing behind me. Okay. And now, we well, still got a little more walking to do, but here we are in the Cascade Foregrounds, where we have another witch's resting place right here, just off to the side. Nothing special about it. One, two, three, four, five easy especially since they give me a full freaking minute to do this i guess they're hoping you miss that one so you'll be lost you that are they taking into consideration like yeah, they're gonna be underwater they're gonna be moving a little slow let's hook them up they really didn't need to do that though because this is easy All right, we got another grave to desecrate. I am all about that. O okay, can't go in. Wait, where am I? Oh, well, hello there. I am completely turned around. Oh, hey, one of these, it increases your magical power. Definitely won't be using those. Oh, hey, another Muspel Muspelheim. One day I'll figure out how to pronounce that. Tell me, wouldn't it be Muspelheim if we're going with German? Nah, I, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, if it was German, it would be Heim. The heat, yeah, anyway, defeat enemies to earn time. We have a low time thing, so we need to kill the enemies to get more time. We are literally reclaiming our time. Oh, come on, man. Oh, okay. All right, that one got a little hairy. I, I got hit a few times when I probably shouldn't have. That's on me. At least we got gold if it wasn't for the damage. Oh, it could have been. 
Anyway, we now have a little extra HP. I'm sorry, I'm just amazed I'm getting some Discord messages at 1 a.m. Took me off guard. No matter, we're done here. But please, I have a witch grave to open to steal her blood, I mean her heart. So come on, rapido please. Um, no, that's where I came, because that was the chest I just opened. So, blap, blap, blap. There, I, I see it. Get it. All right, another witch's heart. Thank you. Well, nowhere to go, but right over in here So this is where Yugi went after the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh was over. Or well first series rather. Look, I'm sorry. Super short has the Millennium Puzzle around his neck. Fights with cards. Th this is Yugi. Shite. I'm never gonna reach Fimble Vent at this rate. Well, at least it won't be a boring trip. Huh? You could see me. You're putting on quite a show, little magician. Oh, you like that, huh? Wait till you see the climax. Silly girl. You'll have to do better than that to earn a tip, my dear. Who the hell are you? I'm just an innocent little girl lost in Wonderland, suffering at the hands of the Queen's trumped-up troops. Hit one, huh? Enough riddles. How can you see me? Because we're both in Purgatorio, you see. Purgatorio? So, are we heading to Thimble Venter on a shopping trip for mummy, little one? Maybe. But she told me never to talk to strangers. Stay out of my way or I'll make sure you never get in it again. Ooh, scary. Off with their heads, eh? Damn it. They must have heard me. Behold, accolade. But yeah, it's kind of hard to be intimidating. Crap. Kind of hard to be intimidating when you're like three foot two. Then again, Bayonetta is pretty freaking tall, so. I don't know. I guess it's just a juxtaposition of height at work there. Because maybe he's a pretty normal height, but just when standing next to Bayonetta, 
he looks tiny. Anyway, we just punish that accolade. Thank you. My weapon now. We'll wait for another wave before we use it. Oh, they're not worth it. Get wrecked. Who's next? There we go. That did not do as much as I would have liked. Also, if Witch Time would freaking come out, that would be amazing. Okay. That went decent enough. Gold, I'll take it. I will take this as well. Hey, we got a angelic him gold LP entrance of gladiators. Yeah, you trade these for weapons. Ain't nothing changed. But I do see this. Halos, thank you. Where were you when I needed you most? When I could have afforded bats with thin. Whatever. Relics. Noatun is full of ruins and strange sculptures worn down by time. Most of them have long since fallen to pieces, yet these ruins are still said to have a strange connection with the gold of chaos, or god of chaos, rather. For example, that ramp-looking object in front of the city's church is said to be a hidden path that once led to the god's home. Or so I was told from some old guy who walked by as I was looking at the ramp. He said those chosen would use it to be able to walk on walls. Not the most reliable source, but I'll take it. He must have been able to tell I was from out of town seeing how intently I was staring at things. Maybe this used to be able to control gravity. If only I had a descendant of these chosen ones. I'd love to ask him about it. I love that the lore is just cleverly veiled tutorials. So yeah, just jump in the middle. And there we go. We walking on walls now. Behold, Valiance. I'm afraid I don't have time to dance too long. A friend is waiting for me. All the angels just have really cool designs. Well, not all of them, but this one does. Oh wait, what am I doing? I got a freaking weapon. Okay, I should probably focus on dodging. Okay. He's stunned. Let's get it. Just deal as much damage as possible.
and he's almost he's almost dead. Got it. You know, I took a few punches, but I was able to bounce back. You no. Know? Get knocked down, you just gotta get right back up. It's called perseverance. Look it up, sweetheart. I'll take a gold. Crow. Ah, well, whatever. Anyway, Muspelheim time. Okay, like the loading times are super quick entering, but exiting, it's a different story. Don't get hit. Defeat all enemies without taking a single hit. These can be tough. But as long as you remember you have guns. Everything's gonna be all right. See? So, uh, I, I think that's worthy of a pure platinum, you know, just... <laughs> I don't like to toot my own horn, but, uh, honk honk. So, um, there we go. Thank you. Pure platinum. He's done it. I mean, he's kind of had to do it to beat the Muspelheim, but he's still done it. He's still done it. We take those. And we're back in the church. Just checking everything up here before we drop down. Okay. Oh wait, no, this is a mega green. So yeah, that's pretty much a full heal. I did not think I was going to make it. Hey, Moon Pearl. I will gladly accept it. Behold. Cachet and compassion. Is that cachet? Cachet? I, 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 I don't know. Whatever it is, they did, even though we've already fought like many of these before, but. Okay, so I kind of lost track of what was happening. Their death was swift. We get a platinum. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. So they're after you too, then. Have you been naughty? Keeping secrets from mummy? Nope. Nothing comes to mind, love. Sorry. But since this is your bloody mess, do you mind hurrying the fuck up and getting rid of this thing? Now, that's no way to talk to a lady. No wonder your guardian angels are trying to give you a good spanking. Whatever, love. You've already been following me, so let's make a deal. You save me, I'll show you around this joint. Heading to Fimbleventer, aren't we? That makes two of us. And it'll take two of us, won't it, love? You seem to have skipped school the day they taught basic negotiation skills. You're supposed to negotiate from a position of strength, little one. Not just be a one-trick pony. Ugh. Power to that works 
you, I suppose. I don't have time to give a shit about who you are or why you're going to the mountain. Take me there and make it quick. You stay with me, and I promise you'll end up in one piece. Got it? Wait! Stop! Before I show you the way, love, you gotta agree to a little condition. Ugh. Do we need to go over my lesson again? First, learn to talk to a lady. We don't react very well to being insulted, little one. Well then, I don't react to being called little one. The name's Loki. And what should I call you, love? I mean, man. Do I look like a man to you? <laughs> Bayonetta or Ceresa, take your pick. <laughs> Ceresa? You don't look like a Ceresa to me. Well then, Bayonetta it is. Let's move, little one. So, uh, hey, I just told you my name is... You'll earn your name when you become a man. I'm still going to call him Yugi. All right, so now we got a sidekick, I guess, and more lore, Purification Grounds. The brilliant church in, in oh my God, let's try that again. The brilliant church in central Noatan has aged gracefully, maintaining its beauty as if unfazed by the passage of time. His value is not only sentimental, the people living in the city make regular visits to the church for prayer, nuptials, and funerals. However, word has it that long ago it served yet another purpose. Pilgrims chosen by God would stop by the church on their way to the sacred peak of Fimbleventer, purifying themselves in the waters that flow through the hollowed grounds. When the road to the summit is lost, holy water continues to flow, purging the impurities of those who bask in it. After ruining a perfectly good pair of shoes, I'd say my feet are pure enough for one lifetime. Cue the laugh track. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Witches recipes. Oh, oh, we, we couldn't do the alchemy before this. I thought those were just like lore purpose. Whatever. Okay. Uh, entry number one. <laughs> Screwed up. Never mind. We we can search for it. Uh, achievements, journal echoes. There we go. It's new. Entry number one. Which is recipes? Found this cleaning up some old journals and documents scattered about in my dad's office. Actually, note to self: I'm going to be a little proactive and try organizing these things by number. Just came up with that now. Uh, look, it'll take some time for me to parse everything that's written here, but according to my dad's notes, he seems to be talking about something like alchemy. Working materials in different combinations to create something completely different than what you started out with. This particular one seems to be about making some secret potion from the extract of rare crystals and jewels. There's a few pictures with it too. If somebody would collect the materials here, they might be able to test it out if the secret arts work. So yeah, use alchemy to make more uh, lollipops and stuff. I don't know if I'll be using that too often. I mean, I should, considering that's going to save me money from Rodan's shop. But if I do good enough where I'm actually like beating these verses without taking too much damage, I won't have to worry about that in the first place. I say like I'm gonna avoid taking too much damage in these chapters. Where am I getting these delusions of grandeur from? Anyway, another treasure chest. Alright, just some more materials. Crafting materials is what I was thinking of earlier, but these aren't really crafting, they're for alchemy, so alchemy materials. <gasps> okay. Stop sitting around. Better run, boy. I was gonna open the door, I didn't need you to do it for me, but fine. Get it. Eh, I'll take it. And now it is fight time. 
Um, I was dodging. Okay. I could be doing a lot better, admittedly. <laughs> that was the weakest punish ever. Screw it, we can get a little of this in. Ah, oh my god. So, uh, things aren't looking too good for me right now, which is a shame. Oh, I can ride it. Yeah, I'm cool. All right, enough of this. Behold, Urbane. Please don't kill me. This is my first, like, really sloppy verse. Okay. I messed up, so I accidentally used like a defense lollipop when I didn't mean to. What is wrong with me? I, oh my god. What is happening? Oh no, and Yugi's about to die too? Oh my god. So I'm definitely getting a stone for this one. Oh, bronze. I'm actually surprised. But yeah, just heading backwards for a bit for something completely optional. It's not that far away, though. It's only right here. Yeah, I'm just using the Urbane's Mace. That's what it's there for. It's there for me to have an easy time. Have I redeemed myself? Yeah, I'll take that platinum. I, I would have preferred if it was a, you know, pure platinum. But I'll take what I can get. The fact that I used three items, though, I am about to have a horrible ranking for this chapter. Right after I was doing so well. Ah, oh, well, them must be the breaks. 
You just gotta play better. Let's go. Eh, might as well. Oh yeah, because I didn't uh, turn in the angel hymn yet. Well now, looks like you found a good reason to visit. You know, I'm all about them Angelic Kim's gold LPs. Angels and Agony are pretty much my slow jams. I play that back home, and the demons will be lined up to get down. Lucky for me, I got a few jams of my own cooking that'll need a little demon kick to finish them off. That LP is just what the doctor ordered. I hand it over, and I'll go get my swerve off. Motherfucker did not want to listen to reason, but it's all good, cause neither did I put him to work. Oh, Rodan, you spoil me. So now I have freaking swords. Well, available for purchase. Well, I mean... That, that was just a freaking, uh... Oh, wait, no, the... No, no, wait, no, I... Yeah, that's right, I can equip them, though. That's the alt so that I can equip them on my feet. Um... First things first... I need my crutch. And what's everything else looking like? Yeah, I definitely don't have enough for those. Alright, I'll start focusing on those later, too. Because I don't really need to worry about the uh, bonus stuff for now. Just practicing my combos. And we're off. Detour. Thank you, Bat Within. Oh, I was... Very close to death. Very close. What is happening? I, I blame it on the t the time. Like I was starting off so well, and now look at me. But hey, full heal. I will gladly accept it. Just follow the small child. Just, all right, well fine. If he's gonna stop, I'll just keep going ahead. Time to fight. Yep, 
Yeah, we can do a little of this. Get wrecked. Come on. Come on. Get closer, you long ass bitch. I ain't afraid of you. Just getting all kinds of wreck. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, mistime that. Mistime that again. Definitely mistime that, but thank you, Bats Within. Wow, got a little greedy there. And climax time. A long ass bitch is no match for me. A bad bitch. Of a witch. Bayonetta, that is. Okay. I tried, all right, I, I tried. What the hell are you doing? Let go of me. So, little one, what's all this sovereign business about? I know, right? Interesting. All right, give it to me straight. How'd I do? Gold. Okay, that bronze probably took me down. Well, no, I only had three platinums. No, I think regardless, I was going to get gold here. Seems about right, because... Yeah, even without that bronze, let's say that was just a silver or a gold that would like everything's just weighted towards gold right now. So, yeah, say la vie. Leaders of the Umbra. I'm going to have to remember to read that next time. When we go to, well, OK, chapter select and now we can go directly to Rodan's store from here. But yeah. Next time, we're going to Chapter 2, A Remembrance of Time. Wait. Yeah, Chapter 2, A Remembrance of Time. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. And see you next time for some more Let's Play Bayonetta 2. Goodbye.